Hello my friends, welcome to another video and this time around I'm gonna tell you about this new fragrance that I bought recently, about uh, one month ago and this is, as you can see, Hugo Boss Boss Bottled Intense E de Parfum You already know the original Hugo Boss, so uh, let's not waste any time This is right now considered to be uh, the best Hugo Boss fragrance and to my humble opinion I think that uh, this is correct mainly because Hugo Boss uh, isn't famous for their uh, I don't know high quality long lasting uh, very powerful fragrances but this one it's an exception compared uh, to the original this is less sweeter and it packs uh, some really interesting notes inside and uh, let's go through the notes and we have uh, fresh apple with bergamot and also uh, orange blossom in the opening in uh, the heart of uh, this fragrance we have clove cinnamon and also geranium plus in the base we get my precious woods because I love woody notes and we have cedar, vetiver, sandalwood and also a hint of vanilla basically it's not a hint it's a lot of vanilla but uh, whatever it doesn't ruin the whole fragrance as it happened to me in a lot of fragrances where uh, vanilla it's um, overpowering and uh, basically takes control of the whole creation so what do I get on my skin well I get a lot of apple first and foremost I get a hint of bergamot I would have preferred to have uh, a lot more and also some uh, orange blossom inside there basically the citrusy notes are uh, are just there in the composition the opening is uh, only for the apple in the heart of uh, the fragrance I get a lot of uh, cinnamon which is uh, something that I really like and I uh, enjoy wearing uh, in fragrances also I get a hint of uh, clove and I do feel a lot uh, coming from the geranium and then in the base I get a lot of uh, cedar and also sandalwood and vanilla not a lot of vetiver at least on my skin friends of mine who own this uh, fragrance said that they get a lot of vetiver in the base notes and uh, less vanilla well it depends on your uh, skin's uh, chemistry but for me these are the, the notes that I um, smell the most when I'm wearing this fragrance and I have to say that this is a very beautiful fragrance especially for um, cold days and uh, right now it's winter uh, so winter finally came if you get my drift and um, it's a very very beautiful fragrance for cold days and for winter time it gives you um, a type of uh, I don't know um, it's very cozy it's uh, it's warming it's uh, very nice to to have it on your skin on uh, your clothes um, it gives you a good uh, sensation when you wear this fragrance it makes you feel uh, like home I don't know sitting on your couch I don't know on your uh, bed uh, enjoying a nice uh, fire in the fireplace and uh, I don't know listening uh, to carols whatever so it's very nice it's very cozy it's very pleasant it's not overpowering it's not um, disturbing your senses um, this doesn't mean that this isn't performing well it actually performs very very well I get at least 10 hours on my skin when I'm wearing this fragrance and in terms of projection I would say that it projects very good for the first three to four hours 
after the uh, four hour mark uh, descent becomes closer and closer to the skin but um, it still projects not powerful but you're still gonna feel um, the fragrance when you wear it so very nice uh, performance very nice uh, uh, projection if that's your thing uh, long lasting it attracts a lot of compliments and um, I like wearing this especially in extreme uh, cold days because that's when it performs the best I also worn this fragrance on a higher temperature um, and it wasn't uh, the most pleasant experience uh, first of all because the performance was lacking so when I wore this in um, hot days hot 25 uh, degrees Celsius um, it wasn't performing well it wasn't projecting I just had the impression that the fragrance is not on my skin but when uh, cold days came it started to show its magic so be careful about this uh, about this fact I like to wear it at the office uh, I like to wear it on uh, casual outfits uh, business casual outfits but I also see this fragrance uh, worn in uh, I don't know official environments official meetings and uh, whatnot so it's quite adaptable if you ask me in terms of um, the outfits that uh, you can put on when you want to wear this fragrance it attracts a lot of compliments it's um, mass appealing it's uh, also mass pleasing so um, what can i say i'm really happy that i bought it i'm really happy that it uh, performs very very nice it projects also very well and also it attracts a lot of compliments so if uh, this is your thing then I highly encourage you to buy this fragrance I paid for this bottle uh, 89 euros if I'm not wrong I bought it from uh, Douglas in uh, Prague because uh, I was in uh, the Czech Republic, Republic when I bought it and uh, that's when also I bought uh, Terre d'Hermes Très Fresh, another fragrance that uh, you can see on my channel also. So, nice, <clears throat> beautiful, warm, cozy, elegant, um, very nice fragrance from the house of Hugo Boss. This especially compared with uh, the atrocious The Scent, which I can honestly cannot stand but that's a personal opinion thank you for watching this video see you in the next one until then as always my friends be safe be good